We're going to begin by opening SSH into our Robotino. So we're going to log in as Robotino. We do that by typing the following at, at our IP address. And in my case, it's 192.168.0.1. We'll now be asked for our password, which is Robotino again. Enter. And we're logged in. I'm also going to SSH in as root, because we will need that for a few steps later. So SSH root at Robo. Root at our IP address 192.168.0.2. And the password for root is D O R P 6. And we're logged in in both. I'm going to clear these terminals so we can see them a little easier. Okay, now we open an FTP to our Robotino. Perfect. Okay, and in our DASL tutorials, we're going to create a new folder called rect. And I created this folder earlier. Uh, you can check the description for a link on that explains the uh, that explains the source code. So uh, go ahead and do that if you haven't already. All right, great. So now we're going to go back to our Robotino window. A Robotino terminal here, so ls. You can see the folders that are there. We'll log. It, we'll move into our Dassel tutorials. So cd das Dassel tutorials ls. We want to build rect. So cd rect ls. Great. So now we're there, um, and we want to cc make our source folder. So cc make src. All right, press C to generate the cache. C to configure, and G to generate our make file. If we update our FTP, you can see we have a bunch of makefile stuff that has showed up. Now we're ready to make. And this will actually generate our executable. Perfect. Okay. Now I found that you can't run your executable as Robotino, so that's why we opened our root window. So we're going to change our directory to home slash Robotino slash Dassel Star Dassel Tutorials slash um, rect. Great. And from there, we want to run our program. And we do that by typing target. That'll open this target folder. And then you can see our executable in there. And this is the local IP address. So we'll hit enter there. Connecting success. All right, now we're going to enter the size of our, the x coordinates of our uh, of our rectangle in centimeters or in mi in millimeters excuse me so let's enter uh, we'll make a 10 10 centimeter in the x direction and 
20 centimeters in the y direction. And I will hit enter. And now you can see our position is changing. And it will just keep cycling through our positions. If we want to stop, press control C, and that will kill our program. And that concludes our rectangle tutorial. If you would like more details, make sure you click the link in the description to the Dassel wiki page.